Welcome back to Blar. I'm going to take a look at Polygon. It's a free to play shooter on Steam. That's uh, so my first impression of it. And I have to say, it's not a good impression. Um, I guess initially this game did well and people liked it. I guess it's like a free battle bit, which is another game I guess people like. I mean, I like FPSs every now and again, like Battlefield and stuff like that. Um, Polygon's a tactical multiplayer, first person shooter. We get various weapons. Uh, it can be up to 32 players on a large map. But when you start, it's a very grindy, it seems. Uh, you have to grind for your scope. You start with like a M16 with a terrible iron sight that's almost worthless. Um, I'm just okay at FPS shooters. Uh, I was good at maybe Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I was pretty good at that. Um, I don't think I had controller support. So I'm not a big keyboard and mouse guy either. So I would play using that. And it wasn't very fun. It looks okay. Uh, the guns sound good. The recoils is what it is. Um, but being, I think you have to get a level or so before you get a scope. And so you're just kind of at the mercy of other players for your first run in with this game. Like I played for about an hour and I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> And that's a problem. You really need to let people get a scope quicker than that. Because um, it's a grind for all your progression, for all your add-ons and stuff like that. And uh, I don't see me grinding it out because uh, it's just too much of a bother just to drop in, get shot. Uh, at least, you know, there's not spawn camping, but... I think it's a battlefield games like games like this. It seems the the sway of the game maybe on purpose. Like we had the team locked down onto their spawn area and then all of a sudden we are on the back foot and then there's you know, swarming our spawn. It just wasn't very it wasn't a fun experience really at all. Um, I was given a chance, I was like, Oh it's gotta get better. Maybe if I get the red dot scope I can see down further down the range and actually get some hits. Uh, I got some hits without it, just kind of firing randomly, and kind of seeing where the teammates were firing, and then just kind of firing randomly, throwing grenades at random. Um, you can use some tactics, you can get inside buildings and get like inside rocks and try to bottleneck people in. Uh, there's one part here where I threw a grenade out of the door, the guy was right outside the door, grenade went, goes off, he comes inside the door, we have gunplay. I lose the, the duel. Uh, other things, I'll just shoot down reins, hit a person randomly, <laughs> and then, I don't know. Um, you know, I guess it's a free game. It's hard to be hard on free games to me sometimes, but I don't know. Putting things so grindy just isn't fun, and I, I don't think I'll be going back to this game. I mean, I would like to see if it's, if it's better with the scope, but I am doing this late, so... And I'm tired. And that's why I play as well. I use that as my excuse. But Polygon, as it is, you can try it. This is free. It came out in 2020. Uh, it looks okay. It kind of has that. I mean, it's supposed to be low Polygon, so computers can run it. I guess low end computers can run it as well. Um, and that's fine. It was kind of pretty hard to see the enemy. They kind of blended in a little bit. Um, once he gets you though, they light up red and you can see where they are, where they are for, for a moment. So you can try to get back and get some kind of tactics in, I guess. Uh, I didn't see any vehicles or anything that being used. Uh, maps were okay. Uh, the environments, everything was just kind of okay. So, first impression, I didn't care for Polygon. I uh, can't really rate it out of 1 out of 10 because I don't think I've played long enough to give it a real verdict. But... Well, that's true. A real break is for some person where if you don't feel like going back to the game, it may not be a great game. Uh, I saw some reviews. I guess they updated and changed some things to make it even more grindy, which is way worse to do to a game. So, that's my first impression of Polygon. This is a long playthrough that I did uh, initially. This is my first playthrough, and this is the end of my first playthrough because I did the battle and it was this long. And it just wasn't fun at all. Just dropping in, getting hit, spawning back out. And yeah, Polygon may not be for me. <laughs> but free games, I think, 
for yourself. You should try it out and you may get more enjoyment. You may be um, into it, have the knack for this game. I don't know. Let me know if you played Polygon or what you think. Thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night.